Oh, this music's so good. <laughs> good evening, everyone. Welcome back to another late night here on the East Coast. How y'all doing? Doing pretty good. We are chilling. Literally, as it is Frostborn Wrath. Um, but we are chilling also in the sense of, uh, yeah, you know, fuck it. It's late. We're just hanging out. It's really late. Like, it's really, really late. Um, usually for work, I have to be up in four and a half hours. Uh, I don't work tomorrow, but I do have things to do, so um, hopefully I can sleep in a teeny tiny bit. I don't know, it's just one of those weird, you know, it's weird nights you get in a mood, you get restless, you can't sleep, and you're like, eh, fuck it. Like, I want to stream more, so I'm like, okay, well, just stream, and I'm like, oh, but I'm tired. Well, so what? <laughs> Exhaustion fueled the early days of the stream, um, as, as well as, you know, more free time. But, uh, let's continue. Oh my god. 406 initial mana bo bonus? That's huge. I almost feel like we should be spending some of these skill points. It's hard to say. More mana per monster kill. That is so tempting. And this gets me another orblet. Yeah. Two orblets is nice. It basically means I can tank two hits, kind of. Uh, like, it uh, recharges a bit. Fusion, I think, is much more important. Just so expensive to level up at this point. Um, I think our second Orblet is, is probably good. The reducement to banishment costs, not as exciting. But, is what it is. Okay, let's check out S3 here. Uh, we, we don't need too much extra mana to start a battle. We already have some things that give us a bonus to that. Some other skills. Or uh, talismans, technically. It's an upgraded talisman, that is. Okay. Aww. We got traps. Grade 2. Frost trap. And again, uh, just to remember... So, traps deal, oh, well, it says right there, minus 80% damage, plus 80% to specials, 200% firing speed, ignores armor, and their debuff or special ability uh, is boosted. So, things will be slowed much more going over a trap, and because it fires faster, it's more likely to hit them, it's just going to do shit all damage. Critical hit gem, each shot has a chance to inflict multiply damage. That's kind of cool. Obviously, that's not very good for a trap. Although our critical hit chance should be higher. Currently 11%. Still 11%. Ah, but the damage goes up. It's times 1.63 versus times 1.5. Uh, however, it does much less damage here. Um, but you can argue it attacks twice as fast. Whatever. We're just going to throw it here. That's kind of cool. Um, I don't think I'm really interested in my traps critting. So... Okay, so how are these guys? They're coming out of the monster nest here. Um, and we are going to want to destroy this. It's going to take us a long time to do that. We might be able to be a little cheeky here. Let's try for that. So enemies are going to come out of here, presumably. And what we might like to do is... I mean, we can leave this for now. I think we want to do that. Honestly... We might want to do this. If we had poison and like a, like another trap like here, that'd be incredible. We 
you don't. And we'll do this. And that. So our enemies are now forced to come all the way around through here, snake up, get hit, and come through this. Which is kind of cool. In theory, that makes this tower spot a little less useful, but it makes this one a lot more useful. And it makes these gem slots uh, nicer. So, uh, And we're going to buy one of these, and we're going to be combining that soon. As soon as I have 240. Oh, is that really not in range? That's super annoying. When we upgrade this, it'll be fine. Yeah, mucho annoying. Will be orblets, so they're gonna slowly come back. And we have less percent chance to crit, but it also adds a slow one here and it does more damage. We like. Still doesn't have the range upgrade that we need just yet, but that's okay. Probably should have triggered that wave a little sooner. I got spooked. And... I want to take advantage of that at some point, but... Two guys are going to technically get through, but they're going to get stopped. Okay, get this guy upgraded, which would be nice. We might might do a little leaking here, but the important thing is we got our, our next gym upgraded, so... I think we're going to be okay. I think we have an Orblitz still here. Yep. And now we can start hitting this monster nest, which is kind of the most important thing we can be doing. The other thing we would love to do... Something like that. likely going to be the next thing we get up to. Okay, we should be able to take down the nest, which will be nice. Focus on structures. There you go. No nearest orb, please. Destroy monster nests after the last wave started. That's kind of fun. Far so good. And no leaks, which is nice. Plus 16 initial mana. It's not like amazing, but we're definitely going to use it. Or 
wizard levels now 18, Harry. Okay, so what do we want to get rid of for this? Plus six percent damage to buildings. Honestly, is probably better. Uh, I would say all of these are better. Maybe not plus eight percent mana for starting waves early. That's kind of weak. Let's go ahead and yes. Salvage that. Okay, let us do endurance mode. Ah, nice. We've unlocked battle traits now. So haste. Oh, yeah, we already saw this. We can make wave stones a little faster, which you'll see gives us XP multipliers and the talismans can drop at a higher level. That kind of cool stuff. We're just going to chill right now. And we're going to try desperately to get this chest. It'd be kind of nice. Single component gems are ideal to be used in traps. Yep, that makes sense. You can place a gem into the enraging socket. Enraging all waves except the one coming up. Resulting in tougher monsters coming in greater numbers. Great way to increase your XP, but be careful not to over-strengthen a wave. Oh, that's kind of cool. Okay, so this map's already very different. Um, they now have to come this way. So that's less cool, obviously. Okay, we're going to need you. I don't know if there's a way for me to destroy walls. Oh, cool. I can change what the wall looks like. Okay. Um, drop a gem bomb on a wall to demolish it. So that's what we may end up doing. Is gem bombing these to make our path again. It's a little expensive. We might be able to get away like in the beginning. For how long? I'm not too sure. We'll give this a shot for now. So far, so good. We could put this here. Plus 5% number of monsters, plus 80% hit points. Wow. So they don't give more mana. They just have more health, and there's more of them. We might not be ready for that, to be honest. Well, actually, maybe it was okay. Maybe I panicked over nothing. We can try it anyway. Maybe I need to trust myself more. What is this awesome stuff? Like this game, or... Nice, we got the wizard stash. So I'm a huge fan of this game. This is Gemcraft. It's uh, based on an old Warcraft 3 mod. And it, it re received like a full game release like, uh, like six years ago maybe. And then this is like the newer one that came out two years ago. Very old school tower defense. Um, 
It's insane. I think I'm not going to trigger waves any early just because we do have these guys beefed up to shit. So, just chill. Very likely get a new tower. I think I do want to worry about bombing these sooner than later and rerouting it. But I don't know if I'm quite there yet. Yeah, like some of these enemies are quite nasty. So let's take you out for now and just see if we can last. Did pop one. Okay. So. This is gonna hurt a little bit. Obviously. Part of me is wondering if I shouldn't have done that much, much sooner. But. Oh, I fucked up. I didn't. I didn't mean to block it there anyway, but that's okay. We're out of mana. The important thing is we got the wizard chest. So I'm a huge fan of Gemcraft. Um, just to summate, the aesthetic's amazing, in my opinion. Um, the uh, music, amazing. The gameplay is really good, old tower defense. But it's like the customization. You can see there's so many ways you can customize this. Like these are all skills that you can level up and they cost skill points and Skill points you don't spend give you a bonus to your starting mana to summon more things. You have this huge talisman grid that you can unlock um, and slot things into, and they all give like bonuses. It it gets pretty crazy, but the basic mechanic of the game is there are each map you have different gems available. Each gem does different things. There are sometimes predetermined tower and trap placements for you. Sometimes uh, you can place your own and, and you go out and you just collect things and get better and go back and try endurance modes. And then when you get stronger, um, you make the game harder to get more experience. So you level up faster. It, it almost mashes up like a Diablo style, um, like kind of like an air PG where you just, you want all the things and you want to collect all the things and you want to get as strong as possible and cheese as strong as you can, but also like push yourself to your limit to get that most amount of XP. Um, kind of a very enjoyable gameplay loop. So wizard sashes contain valuable treasure, including skill tomes, we know. We love, we love them. Fire a wizard stash with your gems to open it and claim its content after winning the battle. Some wizard chests and such can only be opened in certain ways. Which is actually can be found in journey or endurance mode, but they're more common in endurance mode. So this is a haste beacon. This is a new mechanic. Each pulse gives all nearby monsters a speed bonus of up to 10%. So we can destroy this. This counts as a building, and we do have a talisman that boosts our damage to buildings. Or we have two technically. So we could try and kill this. Do we care about a 10% speed boost? I don't know. I don't know if it's... It looks like it may be a permanent buff. So that could be a problem. And just to quickly... Um, again, yanks, because you haven't been here. So, towers, gem acts as normal. Traps, um, your gem does 20% uh, of the damage it would normally do. So minus 80% damage. It deals a bunch of bonus damage to special creatures... Um, which doesn't matter because its damage is so small. It attacks twice as fast, and its special effect, because each gem has a unique special effect, is boosted. So, just look real quick. So, this mission, we have Mana Leech. Um, so that, um, like a, like a money steal, if you will. Um, we have Critical Hit, and we have Armor Tearing. And this is permanent armor debuff on enemies, I believe. Yeah, so it's not timed. Now, the interesting thing about the game, so it costs money to make gems. We have some traits to reduce it. It's normally 60 for a grade one gem. 
You can upgrade gems for 280, 560, etc., etc. Um, I think that's reduced because of uh, traits that we currently have. Because I'm, I don't usually upgrade gems though. What I usually do is combine. So for 226 mana, I believe it's 240 base, something like that. I don't know. Anyway, for 226 mana, you can combine two gems of equal grade together. Uh, so two level one gems, two level two gems, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So how that kind of becomes interesting is, again, reminder, it's 280 to upgrade this purple gem. If I build another purple gem, I could combine them for 226 plus 254, uh, which essentially, I think that's exactly the same price. So you're like, well, why wouldn't you do that? Well, either way works. Um, it may be more convenient for you to have two level one gems out and then combine them later on. Especially because as your gems are attacking things, they're also leveling up. You can see here, um, hit zero, kill zero, but damage increases at 24 hits. So it is beneficial to have more low level gems slowly leveling up and then combining them. Uh, that's a thing. However, you can also combine multiple colors together. When two colors mix, you get less than having two individual towers of the same value. So this is reduced armor level by four per hit. Uh, we'll just restart this real quick so I can show you what I mean. If I upgrade it, it's 7.6 per hit. Okay, so grade two purple, 7.6 reduction. If I was to, I don't know, man, I think I can sell this one though. Uh, 7.6, right? I combine these, so this is a grade 2, but it only reduces armor by 2.74 per hit. However, it's also leeching 0.24 mana per hit, which is worse than, of course, a level 1 of this gem. So you're getting a shittier version of both their effects. However, it deals 20% more damage and deals 70% specials power. So... Let's restart real quick. Pretty cool. I, like, I'm I'm really big into this game. The, the gameplay loop is very interesting. So this wizard stash here has 6 armor, 30 shield, and 800 health. If we break this, we get all the loots inside. So eventually, yes, we want to break it. Um, immediately, though, enemies come from here and here. Uh, first thing we want to do is wall this off. Yeah, I was wondering if there's like a weird cheeky way we could get do some things. So first things first, we're just walling that off. So now the enemies have to go all the way around here. Yeah, so they have to come up, zip, come down through here. These guys have to come through here as well. Which is kind of cool. So what do you want to put in a trap here? Well. Again, your traps are going to get very little damage off. You're just getting the bonus of the effect they give. So because of that, we can put mana leeches in here. So they're rapidly generating mana for us. Kind of neat. Um, I think we like the idea of critical hit and armor tearing together. That sounds pretty good. Um... I think we also like just having some armor tearing gems back here so the enemies walk through them and have their their armor just decimated uh and actually we probably want to throw you somewhere back here sounds kind of good and if i was being more clever put that here you can also trigger waves early to get more or things faster. Um, it gives you a bonus to XP and mana if you trigger waves early, but we're not quite there. So 
So you can see here, this has already generated us 4.2 mana. This has given us seven. And you can be like, those numbers are not very good. Okay. Well, nobody fucking asked, but you're right. <laughs> that is very true. We're going to go ahead and put two shitty uh, purple gems here uh, because armor reduction always, always, always good. And they're going to be generating hit on the wizard stash, which is going to level them up. And then we will combine them with stuff later on. Uh, they don't actually count as hits on this. That's super annoying. But it is reducing its armor, so I guess that's fine. We'll look in the amazing in here later. I'm hoping we can avoid that. You can see that just got a level up there, which is kind of nice. Okay, let's look at mazing in here. They come in. We can lock it down that way. We're gonna run down. Yeah, kind of like this. We'll wall that off. So they're gonna come in. Gonna run down to here. I think we want to make them run. A lot of mana spent doing this. Okay, so they come in, they run, come in here. If they have to loop around this is going to be our plan. Yeah, very expensive doing that. Um, but that does give us a lot of room to attack stuff, so it's kind of cool. Now we just need to get us a bunch more damage. Because this guy is starting to not cut it. That's okay. Okay, we just popped that open, which is exciting. We got a skill tome. I think it just gives us a single skill point. Meh. Let's go ahead and throw another one of these guys here. Mana leech never hurt anybody. We're going to go ahead and upgrade our trap. Mm. Yeah, maybe not. Uh, instead, I think I'm going to go for a fine. Okay, now next we're going to put a wall here. Just so we're forcing them to run through this purple gem. Just kind of push them in that direction. These guys should automatically run up through here. You can put this here though to be kind of annoying. And we will likely build a tower. So towers cost 150. Uh, they cost more every tower you built. This guy's kind of pissing me off here. Um, go ahead and throw a mana leech gem down here. Something to say hi. Oh yeah, that guy's getting through. Um, I could drop one of these here, which might be enough to kill it in time. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna combine those two grade two yellow purples into a grade three yellow purple, which is now doing shit loads of damage, which you love to see. I know what you're thinking. Gee, shouldn't we take out this haste beacon? 100 fucking percent we should. Um, I would love to do that. 
just want to make sure this zero is going to be okay. Okay, let's go ahead and drop that there. Get some mana leeching going, reduce our armor. We'll break this pretty soon, then we're going to get the fuck out of here. And we want to try and make another yellow-purple, potentially. Plus 11... Or 1120 to upgrade, so that's pretty expensive. So he's down, which is nice. I'm gonna go ahead and throw you here, and we're gonna be upgrading this one in a second. Thanks. Oh, here's the other fun thing, Yanks, in case you're wondering um, health. So, your health is your mana pool, uh, which is kind of neat. Um, normally, you can take like 20 hits, 10 hits, 5 hits, or something in a tower defense. In this game, uh, you can see the banishment cost of this enemy here is 40. I think it changes based on the wave. Yeah, so it goes up 45, 48, etc. Right? Um, the the thing is, so when it hits your orb, you have to have that much mana to eat the hit. Um, we have a minus 5% reduction, but I believe that's already, like, taken off of this. So it's kind of, yeah, it's kind of a neat mechanic where your money is your big thing. And you're probably thinking, gee, can you make three orbs together? Yeah, you can, Billy. You just made an orange, purple, yellow. So it's not as good as any of them, but holy shit, the damage is kind of the plan. So these guys, you can see here, they have uh, armor level nine. So the plan is going to be they walk over this stuff and it reduces their, their armor level. Yeah, so this actually will reduce all their armor, just that single gem. So that that's kind of nice. Oh, here's Swarmlings. These are annoying as shit. So for Swarmlings, you kind of want to have... Uh, they don't have a lot of health. You can see here they have... 23 health, but again, they have that armor level thing going on. So what we want to have is a lot of um, smaller towers to deal with that. And I think, I think I, I'm really liking the mana leeching. I may even just go with like flat mana leeching. Swarmlings have 25 health. By the by the time they reach this, they should not have the armor anymore. This is dealing 9 to 16 damage, so not ideal. Uh, ideally, we'd be one-shotting them with our secondary towers, but right now it's okay, and we're stealing tons of mana with all these hits, so... So you can see the interesting thing about the armor reduction gems is you only need as much of them as the enemy has armor. And then once you reach that point, you're looking good.
So far, so good. Nice. And like I said, I just love the music in this. Okay, so, yep, we got some cheese, we got our skill points. More damage to buildings? Eh. Probably just scrap it. A skill tome. Got another map tile and a token for the field and some shadow. Oh, also this game has a story and it's pretty crazy, so. Yeah, good chance we just sell this one. It's kind of an interesting shape though. Part of me thinks maybe we keep it just because the shape's kind of neat. I just wish I had a better talisman to upgrade. This one's kind of nice because we would get the initial starting mana. Or this one here, more damage to Reavers, which they're kind of a common enemy for us. But bonus XP gained and initial mana. Just a little pricey to upgrade, unfortunately. But I could kind of go for that. I also think plus 16 initial mana is kind of nothing. So we can swap these around and get even more building damage in. Kind of neat. Um, yeah, part of me is loving the XP gained idea. I just don't know how much it's going to be. Okay, it's sizable. Yeah, it's fully upgraded then. Plus 14% XP, plus 94 initial mana, and 15% extra damage to Reavers. Pretty cool. Um, we could purchase for 200 Shadow Cores another tile. I guess we could. We might as well. We like it. Um, do something like yay. If we like. Ah, nice. We've unlocked a new skill. So traps. So this is no cap. Um, these are focus skills. They don't say a cap. Hmm, interesting. Okay. So they give bonus specials multiplier for gems and traps. Which is kind of exciting. And uh, every five levels you get like a secondary effect. So we get plus 3% trap firing speed. So that's kind of cool. Cool. And let's go ahead and try this endurance mode. There's no new chest, it doesn't look like, but that's fine. We'll still do it. We'll see how far we can go. You get XP for it, it's all good. Alright, so this may have changed some of the pathing around, so it automatically blocked that off for us. Nice, we can build traps now. Path looks the same otherwise, right? This is blocked off. The routing in here looks a little different, maybe? Kind of seems samey. Okay, same gems available to us. So, let us do the things we know we want to do. Um, the mana leech is pretty profitable. Point eight. Oh, I didn't realize when it says specials. I thought that was special monsters. That means it's special ability. 
Holy shit, that trap skill's really good then. We can get that firing speed like way up and then, yeah, that mana leech we're going to have here is going to be insane. Uh, okay, that's kind of bonkers. We really just need the one gem here, the one purple gem upgraded. Honestly, even that reduces armor level by 8.2. Um, we're not going to be seeing armor level 6, 7, 8, 9. So we're not going to be seeing that for a couple waves yet. And even then, it's like armor level 9 and 10, we're still kind of looking at. Okay, very cool. Let's go ahead and grab critical hit armor tearing. It worked out pretty good for us last time. And I think we'll just grab some mana leeches. Or throw them here. And do our best. Okay, these enemies are fast as fuck. So the haste beacon... I see, the haste beacon has a shitload more health and armor this time. As, uh, it, yeah, it needs to go. It's, uh... Enemies are much faster already. Oh, it's because it's pulsing multiple times. Gotcha. Okay, so I do see the problem. I am going to start on it. I don't love it. So you're going to go here and you're focusing on the structure. Godspeed. It's going to take you quite some time to break that down, but... We desperately need it. Um... That's not a little too early. It's a little sketchy. A little sketchy. We'll be fine. Am I going to keep these all as just pure orange gems? Yeah, the mana leeching is kind of nice, right? This is already leech 24. 21.6. Yeah, I think we're just going to keep them as pure orange gems for now. Not say we won't upgrade them later or change them or something. Okay. Speaking of... So this is kind of annoying. We're gonna do the same plan. We pull them in this way. Lock this. Okay. You can see we, we have some issues there, but that's fine. We gotta stop working on this for just now. We're gonna need some help down here. Maybe this. It's pretty chill. Bring them in here and then around. Okay. Not, I'm not sure that was the best way to do it, but it, it did work. So if it works, doesn't that make it the best way? I don't know. Let's go ahead and get our, our better gem here. 
that one guy has a ton of health still. A little worried about it, but not really. We got two banishment orbs. We're probably going to be fine. guys got through. That's not the end of the world. Do we love it? No, of course not, but as mentioned, it's not the end of the world. We really do need to take this fucking thing out, but um... probably something like this for now will help. I think it's going to be critical hit, mana leech. Okay. The mana leeching is putting in work. Is it putting in enough work? Who knows, right? Fortunately, that is... Hard to say. This is half dead. Needs to be much more than half dead. Part of me is wondering if we can get rid of sending this grade 3. No, probably not. Let's not. Let's not get insane here. It's getting a little scary in here. Gotta be said. I don't think I can take this leak, actually. Uh, it turns out I can. This is still isn't broken yet. I need you in there. A little faster. There you go. There we go. Probably not enough. Nah. Not quite. It hurts. It hurts! Nah, we were close. That's okay. It's endurance mode. We're not meant to survive. We do just need to get a little more damage there. Wizard level 20. Like, part of me really just wants to pump this. Um, now, a little bit not super exciting there because I don't really care about... The mana leech is nice, but... Really, I'd be more excited if we had, like, poison or something. Ugh, yeah, speaking of. This will probably be our... Last map for the night. But poison is just so good in a trap. Just insane. Right click or shift click on a gem drag. Yeah, I know how to do target priorities. Tanks! So we got enemies coming in two spots here. We can now build traps, which is exciting. Um, we also, that's it. Wow, this is it. Wow. Armor tear and poison. So armor tear is interesting. Uh, if we use traps, we don't actually need armor. In theory. Um, but that said, if we just do two traps, we can stop worrying about it. Phew. Let's do something like this. Okay, that seems good to me. And we'll set up 
Maybe like here. It's a pretty good range. And we'll just make it you for now. It doesn't actually matter. And go. So, yeah, the poison's now 16 damage a second, up from 8. It's insane the difference that makes. Crazy. So traps, just like towers, get more expensive the more of them you've built. Makes sense. Not mad about it. These guys here have only armor level 4. Pretty cool. Part of me thinks that we are, I guess, ideally, the dream, going to have one of these here, probably also one here, and just get the poison damage going on early on all these guys, especially with like our insane poison damage. Twenty-two for our next trap. Oh. Now we just really have to worry about upgrading these. That damage should carry us just fine. Like, look at this. The poison ant. Like, they don't even get close. It's just crazy. Now, we are going to get swarmlings here. And swarmlings, because there's so many of them, the traps actually can't keep up. So you'll see, they'll, they'll tick them. And we are going to deal some damage, but... Well, that guy's not technically going to make it through, but yeah, it's fine. Looking for 180 here. There she goes. Holy shit, this thing has a lot of health. I mean, ideally, we'll, we'd kill this before we we kill everything with all our poison, but I might... Eh, yeah, okay, we're going to be fine. Was getting sketchy, though, eh? We were killing it really fast. Nice, okay, we're through. through. Got a new battle trait scroll, which is another way that we can make the game harder for us, if we'd like. Which we might like to do. Now, the other interesting thing here to keep in mind is you know we've been talking about uh, traps and traps are pretty cool and we like them but because traps attack so fast they also level up their hits really fast so there is a mechanic where you can um, put gems in traps 
that you want to put in towers because they level up and they get the bonus damage and everything after. So kind of neat. Yeah, not even close, Billy. I wish we could just click endurance mode here, because damn. I have 75% the monster kills caused by poison. Yeah, that's fair enough. 500 poison kills for it won all battles. Bonus damage to flying enemies. Meh. Overcrowd. Yeah. And achievements in this game do serve a purpose, which is nice. You can see there are a lot of them. A lot. A lot of achievements. People like achievements. But each achievement is one skill point. I don't think there's any that give more than that. Well, some give two. So there you go, I lied. Maybe there's a three in here somewhere. We may never know. But, oh yeah, there you go. So you just get more skill points from all the stuff, which is cool. Uh, bonus damage to flying enemies. Eh. Not super excited about... So this one's going to be Mana Leech and Crit, which is very not fun. However, we could try going back to level 1 now, though. More monsters. More monsters isn't actually a bad thing. Faster monsters is. More monsters, technically more mana, which is more good. But we could go ahead and see if, the, if we can maybe beat... Level 1 Endurance Mode. I, I don't know. I, I want to say it's like 30 waves? Question mark? And then we can try the trials for each of these levels as well. Like I said, tons of replayability. Especially when you get to like... You can also crank the difficulty. to stupid, which maybe, maybe don't do that. But you could if you like. Good, absolutely. What is your armor at level 4? Okay. We now have access to the trap on any map now, which is super nice. So we're going to go ahead and put a slow trap here. Because that is going to slow a lot. Your friend. Also gonna put a we're gonna put um actually I probably want to do this the other way around. There. So that by the time they get in range of our towers, I want their armor to be gone. Um because yes, our towers do produce our armor, but I don't even want that first hit to have to go through.
And this is why I usually combine instead of upgrade, because then I have access to more gems on the field at any given point. Which I usually consider to be a good thing. Your mileage may vary, but... So, enemies now have 13 armor. This is reducing by 8.2, so I'm going to go ahead and upgrade this one. So now they won't have any armor by the time they get to us. And we're going to try and upgrade our slow as well, which would be nice. And we'd also love to get a second trap right here. Same thing, we're just going to make it a super cold tower. Just to try and keep things going real slow. Enemies are currently at... 20 armor. So we're going to trigger this wave and... Hopefully upgrade our armor reduction. Which is good. Fine, we're gonna trigger this. This guy's gonna come back around. Okay, we're currently at what? 32 armor, shit. Okay, so instead of upgrading this, because it gets more and more and more expensive to upgrade it. We'll probably just build another trap for that purpose. Very likely how we handle that. So this is going to be interesting. We're going to we're going to try and squeeze in a combine here. Let's see if we get away with it. Now we're not going to Well, this is, like I said, this is going to be spicy. I should have done it sooner. I panicked. Yo, Billy! He's fine, he's fine. What the fuck? Another wizard stash here for no reason. Probably okay, I guess. Okay, yeah, final wave's about to start. That's our final wave. Okay, and we're gonna throw both these here. Hopefully they're combined attack power. Atta boy! Nice, we did good. Hey, Sugniff, how you doing? Oh, man. I swear your timing is impeccable. <laughs> but we did create a grade 5 gem. We destroyed a previously open wizard stash. We did 30 waves. We did 5 endurance wave stones. So, now that we beat this, so our 
our endurance mode had 30 out of 30 waves. It will now have five more waves from now on. And you're like, oh, okay. That's interesting. Every endurance mode, every level we do on endurance mode will have five more, which is kind of neat. Um, plus 8% of wizard level goes to initial XP and mana. Hmm. It's kind of a funky fresh one. Is is our wizard level currently 22? 8% It's not even worth thinking about. Not even worth thinking about, but maybe... Maybe eventually this is kind of a neat thing? I don't know. I don't know. I'm loving traps, though. My god, am I loving traps. But I also... It's one of those things, like, I love combining gems. So part of me is like, yeah, would it be cool to level up my trap skill? Sure. But, like, could we get this to 15? No. Because lowering gem combination cost is huge. Because that makes all our upgrades cheaper. I think that's the way to go. I mean, don't get me wrong, like... If we have poison in the level, the trap is insane. And more trap firing speed is pretty freaking good. Especially for swarmers. Um, and our traps are really, really good at the start there. Like at that level, we just saw the effectiveness of them is, oh, cool, the enemy has a billion armor? No, they don't. So it's kind of like, you know, something we could do. But we also have trial map. Which is like a, a fixed challenging battle. I'm not quite sure I'm ready for it. Oh, look how big this map is, though. Much more to see, much more to do. Click stats. Very cool. Interesting. XP. Oh. Kind of fun. Oh, but yeah, I think I... I think I'm dying... 1am, I'm just used to waking up in 3 hours, so I think I will call it. Um, and tomorrow, I don't know if I'll be on tomorrow, I'll be honest, we have company. Uh, I am planning to be on Sunday though, I know, sorry Sonya, if it's just late here. Um, yeah, I'm planning to be on Sunday for maybe some role playing, question mark, not too sure. I'll try and be on tomorrow, but realistically, when I have company over, we usually stay up pretty late, and, you know, then I'm dead. <laughs> Maybe have a few drinks, right? And then that puts you right to bed, so. Anyway, take it easy, folks. Bye.